Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today, uh, today's video, what I want to discuss is the drag link recall that are out there for these Dodge Ram, or not Dodge Ram, but these Ram heavy duty pickups. Um, I'll show you a picture here in a second and you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about. Apparently that drag link does not lock tight enough and it can loosen up to where you lose steering. Um, RAM or FCA's fix for that is to weld at, uh, each end of the nut to the center. Um, and as you'll see in that picture, it looks absolutely horrible. It's just a cheap way of doing it. So I uh, decided to go with, uh, I purchased a, a drag link, uh, a whole new drag link from Synergy and it's gonna take care of that whole issue that we have there. So stay tuned and uh, I'll show you exactly what we're going to do, how to do it, and how to even get this part for free. So it's a reimbursement program that FCA has. You just contact a few people, you send them some receipts, you have to go get it uh, uh, inspected uh, at the dealership. I think there's a small minor fee, maybe like 50 bucks with it. I'm going to see if I can just try to get out of that or even send the receipt for me for paying for that. And uh, hopefully I'll get reimbursed, but I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. What up, Tuck? What? You're just ridiculous. So there's the drag link, as you guys can see right there. Um, and the picture that you just seen, how damaged it was, not damaged, but how they welded it on, um, is exactly what they do at the dealership. So it's a very easy install. It's just a pitman arm bolt. And then if you look over here, it's just the bolt right there on top of the, uh, the axle there. It's just those two bolts. Very simple install. I'm not actually gonna do the install of it on this video. We'll probably do it on our next video when Bodie's over here doing his U-joints uh, and uh, yeah, U joints and hubs. I'll maybe have him help me out with that since I'm kind of limited with my, uh, my shoulder right now. I just really can't do too much. So uh, we'll do a little unboxing, show you guys exactly what comes with the kit and go from there. out of the box really nice good looking piece here uh, very nice looking ball joints comes with zerk fittings for greasing on them um, I'm not sure exactly what end goes where it's it's a 50 50 shot you can't really mess it up comes with some nice grade A hardware uh, some cotter keys and should be very simple install so gonna get this installed um, hopefully this weekend we'll see how it goes I'm trying to avoid going to the alignment shop just yet so when we get the wheels and tires on there they're just going to knock it out all at once so we'll see how that process goes all right so in order to start the reimbursement process for this what i did was i i saw some people on other forums talking about it and i decided to just you know ask that person if, myself exactly how to get started and they gave me some pretty good information so i'll look at my phone real quick and there's a email that you have to send an email to in regards to trying to get this reimbursement for this thing even started so what I did was I purchased the, the drag link off of a, a website. I'll put a link in the description for one. And what I did after that was I sent the receipt to, it's US Customer Care at fcagroup.com. All that stuff is gonna be in the description. So if you guys didn't write it down real quick, don't worry, just click the description, it'll be down there for you. I immediately sent them my uh, receipt. They replied back and said, thank you for the receipt. Um, just once it's completed, let us know. It's installed, let us know. And I have to take it to a dealership. They're gonna inspect it, make sure it's good and it's safe, which is gonna be just fine. And I'll send that back to them as well. And then they should reimburse you after that. So it's a $380 drag link and it's gonna be pretty much a free drag link from Synergy uh, for the fix. So if you guys are interested in there, go down the description, description check out that, uh, check out that email but you know you, you know if you have any other questions please leave me a comment and i'll be sure to be more than happy to answer any questions you have but i'm still working through the process i haven't gotten reimbursed yet if you guys have went through this process comment down below let us know like how easy it was for you 
um, how long it took you to get reimbursed, things like that. So it's pretty much an upgraded drag link for free. So it's definitely something to look into. All right, guys, if this is your first time here, please get down there and like the video, comment down below, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So whenever I do have more uploads, you guys will be notified first and foremost. I know YouTube's having some problems right now with you know turning off people's notifications. So just make sure your notification bell's turned on. Um, little update on the dually. Uh, the dually is at a shop right now that's getting the transmission looked at. Uh, there's some things that are just, we can't figure out. Uh, we've replaced the solenoid, we serviced it. Um, and it still has a leak out of one of the fittings on there. Possibly crack the casing, we don't know. So that is at the shop. That's why there hasn't really been any updates on that. James is, you know, looking all, all, at all avenues when it comes to that. Possibly swapping it back to a 68. We just don't know yet. So sorry we haven't had much content on that, but it is what it is. Just something that's kind of been on my mind lately. I guess in the last couple of days, I started to come across... Uh, Thoughts of doing a stereo system in the truck. Nothing crazy. I'm a person that likes like really good quality sound. I'm thinking of just doing out, take, changing out the door speakers, the dash speakers, and the center speaker. Um, I know there's a way of swapping out your infotainment center to making it the CarPlay uh, type, I guess, software. And it's still it's still UConnect, but it has Apple CarPlay. Um, I looked on that. I looked online on eBay, and it was like you had to get a newer infotainment screen. And there's a few other adapters that go with it, but it's like upwards of like 1,600 bucks for the entire just head unit swap. So I'm not sure if I want to go that route. I can always just Bluetooth it for my phone, like always. But I do love Apple products, so maybe something I might do in the future. But I'm really looking at doing some uh, door speakers. I'm not sure what's in the headliner. I know there's some kind of speaker or tweeter there. No, not sure if that's even readily available or even worth doing and doing the front two speakers. So I've been out of the stereo game for a long time. So if you guys have any recommendations, please comment down below of what you're thinking, uh, what you think I should go with for a good quality sound. And I'm also thinking about doing two 10 inch subs behind the back seat in a box back there. So I uh, found some kicker subs and like a sub box and an amp and everything on eBay. Not sure if that's the best quality of stuff, but if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. I'm pretty ignorant and uh, out of touch with the uh, car stereo game because it's just I ha it hasn't been something I've done in probably over 15 years. So um, I used to have an awesome system back in my 2004 Dodge Ram back in the day. It was like a movie theater in there. It was like when they had a double din dash and it popped out and it flipped up and you can watch movies and all that stuff. But that was a long time ago and I just really haven't been into that side of things. So. If you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. Uh, I'll take it on board and do a little bit more research. But that's gonna be all for today's video. I just wanted to share a little knowledge with you guys, some uh, information that I came across to hopefully help you fix this issue. If you have the recall done, I think you can still actually do this. Not 100% sure, do not quote me on that. But uh, from what other people have said, they said they were able to get reimbursed. So. Um, Maybe look at this route if you want to. You can buy the whole new uh, crossbar. I think it's the tie rod. Not, yeah, the whole you can buy the whole tie rod bar from them as well. It's like an additional 450 bucks, but I'm not even gonna go that route. So um, definitely check out their website. They have this uh, drag link on there. The part number is going to be, the part number is 8701-01. And I don't know if you guys can see it right there. But that is exactly what I have and what is going on in my truck. All right, guys, like I always say, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are freaking awesome. Keep, keep subscribing, keep helping this channel grow. And um, you know we're just gonna get bigger and better as we keep going. So once again, I appreciate you guys for watching. Until then, we'll see you guys on the next upload. Have a good one.